Good morning, guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It is beautiful outside this morning here in Phoenix. And the thing that is on my mind is something that I am struggling with personally, and that is choosing the right goals. Now, that may come as a surprise to some of you who follow me because you know that I just launched a goal journal. It's a 100-day goal journal. I love, love, love the process. Been using it for well over a year now. Here's what I'm finding more and more though, is it is really, really hard to find the right goals, the right way to measure what I really want to accomplish. So I'll give you an example. Um, when I started my 100 day goal journaling for this, this three months, one of my goals, so I have the Sparkle and Rise Facebook group and it was grow the Sparkle and Rise Facebook group to a thousand members. So I started out at three, about 300 beginning. I'm up to 550, so I mean, that's great, um, but it's the wrong metric. I mean, growth is great, don't get me wrong. What really matters though is when you're transforming lives, when you're making a difference, when people uh, feel different inside, they're taking different actions, they're deliberately moving forward towards their dreams and their goals. Whatever your product or service is, or work that you do, I'll bet that there's some component of transformation inside of that. And I struggle with how to measure that. I mean, a lot of times when you're in a service, like like I have services for professional women, in addition to, we're, we're now launching the journals. Um, I do keynote speaking, I do workshops, I do coaching. It's that transformation that really matters. And yes, the numbers are important and I want the Facebook group to grow and I would love it for it to get to a thousand members. Not because of the thousand members, but because it's an opportunity to impact a thousand lives, to help a thousand women achieve their dreams, to give a thousand women the, the tools and the resources they need to take deliberate action so that they see progress. So. I'm not quite sure what the right metric is. I know that it's not number of people in the Facebook group. It's gotta be something around engagement or to provide you know, so much value that I get X number of emails that tell me, oh my gosh, Carla, you know, this made a difference for me. Um, a, a great example, so I do a webinar once a month and this month I did this morning was thriving during difficult conversations. And I had 10 people sign up, uh, three people attended the webinar and a lot of times the people who can't attend will watch it on the link afterwards. And I felt so good after that webinar. And it, it just, I knew that it was the right content. The message hit the mark. The comments were incredible with how it was resonating, what people were gonna do to, to take deliberate action afterwards. And I got more satisfaction and felt more successful by having those three people on the call than I would have if I had a hundred people on the webinar and no interaction, no one, you know, sharing how it's going to transform their life, what they're going to do differently. I had one woman who's attended a similar webinar in the past share how she implemented the tips and what a difference it made um, when she was talking with a C-suite executive. That is the measure of success, right? So. I am struggling with it a little bit to think, okay, for my next 100 day goals, how do I create a metric that tells me that I'm transforming lives? How many lives, how, how, does, that, how does that happen? So that's my challenge to solve. Uh, and I would say, think about your metrics. How are you measuring success? And is it really the right metric? Like what is your end game and how could you get creative and actually measure that? Let me know in the comments uh, your thoughts and if you have any suggestions for me on what metrics I can use for my next 100 days on how I can measure success and helping women transform their lives, I would love to hear about it. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.